Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Merry Christmas on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. Today is Christmas, of course. And to start this video off, before we get into what maybe to expect today on this game of FIFA 22 on the holiday, I want to also draw your attention to a giveaway that we are doing a little Christmas present back to you guys in the community. Click the link down below in the description. We are giving away three sets of 12,000 FIFA points or the equivalent in cash uh, to you guys. A little bit of a, a way for me to give back to how you have supported me so faithfully through this entire year. It has been an absolute blast and I uh, I want to give back, right? I want to give you guys a couple Christmas presents. So that giveaway is going on. Click the link in the description. Go check that out and make sure you sign up because again, there's going to be really good chance to win. And uh, yeah, who, who can go wrong with some 12k FIFA points, which is 100 USD. Uh, if you want to do the math there in cash. So that'll be finishing up this weekend. And then next week, uh, we will be giving out the winners, the prizes. So that's just a little thank you uh, from me and a little bit of a way to give back a little Christmas present for you guys. Now talking about Christmas, Merry Christmas once again. Christmas and holidays on FIFA in general are not often super insane days of content. In the past, they really haven't been. So I want to talk about a few things today on the game, of course, what could be happening, what EA could drop. We didn't have things yesterday that we really thought we might see. I also, this is on me, I forgot that Prime Icon Batch 1 was released last week on, uh, I forgot that was released on Saturday. So I think it might actually be today where we get the whole our second batch, so all prime icons in the game. Right now, we only have batch one. I think batch two is going to be released uh, today on Saturday. I forgot that, that was on Saturday last week, so my bad for shouting that for yesterday. That's on me, but I think that's going to come today. We still have a high potential of a re-release of a party bag SBC. I think there's also a slight potential of the mini release, right, of these cards that we have not seen yet, like a Winter Wild card, Zlatan, Taremi, Asper the Equator, the cards that we had leaked, right? Everybody is looking for this Zlatan card, and he has not dropped yet. But there's a slight potential that those cards could be in packs today. Since EA dropped the team, uh, the Winter Wild Cards team too, since they dropped them in packs early anyways on Thursday, I'm wondering if the, the mini release is going to get pushed up a day or two. I really don't know. Uh, if that's going to be the case or not, but we'll be on the lookout for that today. Man, a lot of these cards are getting very, very low. I want to talk about the lightning rounds and the pack supply, as well as a potential Coutinho for our daily player SBC today. As it was not Coutinho yesterday, it was Kynes, and that was a bit of an L. Yesterday on Friday was kind of a, you know, Christmas Eve content on FIFA was not that good, right? It was really not that big of a content day yesterday. Of course, we had a lot of lightning rounds. Those are still going on. EA keeps doing these like, they're not quite two for one packs, but you get two packs for the price of one and a lesser value pack inside. That really affected the price of these cards yesterday on this game. Yesterday, we had the Florian Canes SBC, four star, five star, so no upgrade there from his base card, no position change. Uh, I mean, this SBC is dirt cheap, and this card, I mean, it's 30,000 coins. I just don't think this card is that fantastic unless you have some extra fodder in the club. This card really does not look that great. It's not game breaking, right? Again, perspective is everything here, but um, that card for me is just not game breaking. And that's kind of been the theme with like the last couple SBCs, specifically Orsolini and Canes. Now, I'm really wondering if EA is going to step it up today on Christmas or at least today or tomorrow, Saturday or Sunday. I think we are going to get this Coutinho SBC that everybody is talking about, right? Uh, Coutinho, I think Coutinho and Causa right? Not Courtois, Coutinho. Come on, TFA. What are you doing? Uh, Coutinho right here, of course, is an SBC that a lot of people are looking forward to. This would be a big time SBC if they give him the right upgrade. They upgrade. If they make him 5-5, five, five, that's insane, right? But uh, just give him a massive pace boost. Give him like 85 pace, you know, mid to high 80 shooting, good passing, great dribbling. This could be a card that so many people want to go out and get after for an SBC. This could be a really nice end to the promo, and it would be a nice Christmas present from EA, I think today it's going to be Coutinho or Kaza, right? These are like the last two leaked player names uh, for SBCs that we have not seen yet. We've basically seen everybody else as far as I am concerned. And I think the daily SBCs stop on the 26th. Uh, if, we, if it says that here, I don't know if it says that on this little sidebar in the game. It says, uh, check out, yeah, it does say this. It says, check out daily themed SBCs including daily winter wildcard player SBCs now until December 26th. So we have two more days, right? Today and tomorrow 
of these daily SBCs. So Coutinho is either going to be today or he's going to be tomorrow, according to the leaks. And the leaks have been spot on so far. So I think that's going to be part of content today. Of course, I mentioned Prime Icons Batch 2. Those should be released in packs. Now, we didn't have a little Christmas present from EA. We did not have one yesterday. The return of the party bag, I think it's a 100% chance that it's going to happen this weekend. Again, either today on Christmas or tomorrow. Um, it could be today, right? It would seem so perfectly fit for EA to drop a present, a party bag present, right? on the game today on Christmas. Now, again, I said at the beginning of the video, I believe um, that Christmas and content on holidays usually isn't that insane, right? I know Thanksgiving this year, we had the pre-Black Friday, but that's been happening the past couple years. I think Christmas last year, the content wasn't that insane, right? Even though it was during the foot freeze promo, we were getting daily SBCs as well. Um, you know, I think it's going to be similar today. Maybe a party bag and maybe Coutinho, right? I don't think there's going to be too much else unless they would also drop the mini release today. And again, I mentioned that as well. That's just up in the air. Mini release is either going to be today or tomorrow on Sunday. It's going to be either those two days. And it, you know, it might be today. It really might be today since they released the Winter Wildcards Team 2 in packs early. So that's kind of the content that we would maybe be looking out for today. Um, I know some people are starting to invest in informs and even starting to invest in Winter Wildcards items, like some of the discard ones. Um, like some of the cards from Winter Wildcards Team 1 that are basically discard, like a Chiampong. Some of those cards have gone up. Embolo, Graham. Uh, if I'm being completely honest, I don't think that EA is going to require a Winter Wildcards item uh, as a part of any of the SBCs coming up this week. Uh, because there's just not there's just not enough fodder cards. There really is, is not enough. I would be very surprised if they did require one. Um, there's like three or four, but then I don't know. I, I don't think it's going to happen, but who knows? It's It could. So I advise if they're still around discard, like Graham is like 11,000 coins. You can buy one, put it in the club. Uh, but other than that, I really don't expect too many. I don't expect those to be required uh, inside of the SBCs. On this game now I want to talk about winter wild cards from team 2 because since we had not a lot of content yesterday a lot of these guys went low right before 6 p.m. we basically called it yesterday right uh, Lucas Mora was 850,000 coins late on um, the first night th Thursday night into Friday morning then of course Friday morning came and a lot of people uh, expected lightning rounds like that happened yesterday and a lot of people started selling these cards off. A lot of people were selling Lucas Mora. He went from 850 all the way down to 700,000 coins flat right before the content dropped yesterday. And there was a couple cards that rebounded. I bought Sterling's at 440,000 coins. He went all the way back up to 500K and I sold most of mine. I sold most of mine right at 480,000 coins. I bought a couple of those. Lucas Mora went from like 700K to 800K, then came back down. Uh, Martial is down a lot at the moment. Now, of course, these cards had a short rebound, but now they're down, right? Now these cards are down a lot. Al Sandrini is almost like 100,000 coins, which is very, very low for his card. He was like 150,000 coins yesterday. The supply on these cards, even though they have a pretty low pack weight, the number of lightning rounds and the number of packs that EA are putting out, especially with these like special Christmas packs, is kind of crazy, right? It is kind of crazy. And let me show you what I mean here in the store. Um, they're doing an 86 plus star. Wow. They're doing the 86 plus late night lightning rounds per usual right now, but these plus packs, right? Premium gold players pack plus and the rare players pack plus yesterday for the 125 K pack lightning round, which was two hours after 6 PM content drop. So 3 PM, my time, 8 PM UK, they dropped a ultimate pack that gave you a mega pack inside of it and that really started a lot of these cards that are in packs like a lot of the winter wild card team two cards like martial lucas sterling uh morales hazards like 300,000 coins a lot of these cards dropped off a bunch because of that supply that caused some people to panic sell because they saw the packs they saw how much they were going to give out so even though the specific pack weight on these cards is kind of low the amount of packs that we had open yesterday was a ton because everybody who opened one of those uh, 125K packs also got a 35,000 coin pack back from EA Sports. So there's a lot more supply of these cards than there was yesterday. Some people are trying to flip these cards into today on Saturday. My only thing would be these cards usually don't work too well for flips, even though we get some supply in the late night. Like if you're going to try to flip Lucas Mora up to 700,000 coins, you got one, two, 
you got three pages of supply and usually the Friday into Saturday flips don't work as well as the, uh, <clears throat> or the, the second night flips don't work as well as the first night. So I'm a little bit skeptical on these. If I saw Lucas Moore at like 600K, then I would buy it. But 630K, yes, he is down a lot. I just don't know if it's down enough for me today. What you might see on the market today are actually some people that are getting the game for the first time, some Christmas noobs per se, getting on the game for the first time. So you might see some of these really low tier cards. I know we've got um, the squad battle rewards time frame and stuff like that, but maybe like your gold Kempembe. Some of your gold cards might rise up a little bit today as people get on the game for the first time and start to build their teams with some of the coins that they get and they get on the market and they realize that, oh my goodness, all of these cards are so stinking cheap. It's crazy. You can get like this Kempembe plays like an icon and he's 5,000 coins. So I think you might see a few areas of the market rise up on the low tier end just because you have new players into foot uh, today. But it really comes down to what the content is, right? I think we are going to get more lighting rounds today. I would 100% expect that. So expect more fluctuations with the winner wild card team two items that are in packs. Um, you know, some people are asking if we do get a party bag today. How is fodder going to react to a party bag? I honestly don't think that fodder is going to go up much. 84s right now are like 2,000 coins a piece. Maybe they would go up to like 3K at the very max. But I think EA is doing everything in their power right now to make sure that SBC fodder does not rise. They're doing literally everything in their power right now to make sure that those cards do not go up in price on this game. So I don't know. Today, content-wise, I really don't expect, uh, expect like a ton. Now, I do think that we will see the mini release today or tomorrow. I don't know what day it's going to be. So that's coming out this weekend. And I'm kind of talking about this weekend in general because um, it's really unknown what's going to happen today versus what's going to happen tomorrow on Sunday. Now, we do know that the winter wildcard swaps, like the actual SBCs where you will be able to redeem your swaps, because right now I believe we have 16 tokens. And if you guys were not able to find some of the tokens from yesterday, they were difficult to find. If you go into the Teams tab here, and you choose between Thierry Henry and Wayne Rooney, you're gonna choose one of these two, then you're gonna go to your objectives. And as you can see, I chose Wayne Rooney. So if I go down here and see, it's under the uh, prefer premier performer objective inside of Wayne Rooney here, there's a swap token. So some of you guys may not have seen that. It's kind of hiding in there, right? Their EA is not making these tokens like easy to find. They're making them pretty difficult to find with like one token available through marquee matchups. It's been, it's been kind of difficult, but I can tell you there are 16 tokens that have been released, 16 tokens that have been released. So tomorrow on Sunday, the 26th, when they release the wildcard swap rewards, people are going to be able to start attaining those 85 times 10 packs, DACA, Gunter, ultimate packs, 81 to 89, whatever they are taking with their tokens, uh, they are going to start being able to um, get their rewards from that whole SBC set. So that's kind of what I'm expecting. Also, I mean, this promo seems to be on the end, right? Which we already see a promo that is coming up next added to the code. And we have to talk about this because you're probably seeing this in the game. Headliners have been added to the game quality surge. Now we do think this is going to be the next promo. It is leaked to be the next promo and seeing the car design in the game makes us think that it's obviously coming out very soon because these winter wildcard team two items are in packs until this next Friday. So they're still in packs for six more days um, until Friday, then it's over. And from there, it's going to be most likely the headliners promo, but it's just crazy that EA have added those into the game already. It seems very, very early to be doing that. Now, if you're trying to make some coins on this market, the best advice I can give you uh, right now is to stick to out of pack stuff. Sticking to out of pack stuff, these winter wild cards, they fluctuate a lot in price. Pogba was just down to a mil. He's he sells at like 1.07. There's small flips there. I bought a Fabinho at 400k, sold it at 440. Um, this David goes between 115,000 coins and 127k. Very in demand card. And then again, if we do get a party bag like we talked about yesterday, uh, the special cards that are in the party bag SBC. Thiago Jalo is 334. He was 370 earlier, right? I can even show you on the graph. He was 370,000 coins, like right in here, 364. I bet if we even take a look at his market sales history, you can see that he sold at 370 earlier today. Uh, 361, 362, 372, 375, 380, right? 
during a period earlier yesterday. So this is the the type of trading that I would be doing right now on this game, 100%. Now, the only thing that might hurt this card's value is if we had the Causa SBC, right? So that's the only thing in the back of my mind that would be a potential uh, something that would hurt this card's price. But 333 for Tiago Jallo, how many pages to like 370, right? We got one page of cards, we have two pages, right? And some 360s, 370s overnight. So I might get a slight bit greedy here and try to snag one at like 330 flat or under, but that is a great example of a card that you can be trading with right now on this game with any budget, right? It's not just this card. You can find cards that have similar movements that move around a lot uh, that are like 20, 30,000 coins. So that's the sort of trading that I'd be doing, flipping those cards really quick. Um, one thing I do need to mention as well, this might not be until Sunday, but uh, we do have the next prime, not prime, but uh, prime and two mid icon player SBCs leaked to be coming out soon. Mid best prime Zola and mid Puyol are on the docket for next upcoming icon player SBCs. Now, I would imagine that these would be dropped on Sunday because Sundays are usually a, um, a an SBC for icons day. So just kind of keep an eye out for that. And if you have invested in any of the links to either Kaza or to Coutinho, this De Young was like 440,000 coins. Um, if De Young is insanely hyped, insanely cheap, and everybody changes their teams to go out and do his item, kind of like you've seen with cards like Mbabu from earlier on in the week when the Sal SBC came out, or when Cornet went up in price because of the Zaha SBC, if the SBC for Coutinho or for Kaza is really, really good value today, and... Um, it's, you know, people are going out and doing it. And it's super duper popular, kind of like how popular Alar was. If it's that sort of vibe, then you're going to see the cards go up in price. So keep an eye out for maybe some of those links uh, to Coutinho or to Causa. But, you know, selling in the hype is your best bet there. The SBCs that have come out recently have been good value, but they just haven't been that insane. So I think that's why you haven't seen a lot of other players go up that much on the market is because the SBC value has not been insane. So quick rundown again for today. Prime Icons, Batch 2, most likely in packs. More Lightning Rounds, more packs. Probably more of these special holiday offer packs, I would imagine. A Party Bag and a Player SBC. That's potentially what we could be seeing today with some variations of all of those in between. Because again, sometimes holidays on the game are a bit quieter than normal. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.